Hi everyone, Gordon here, Arctic Rider, currently in Alaska, as you can see behind me. And uh, I thought I'd just do a quick uh, review video of the bike that I've had while I've been here, which is the BMW um, F750 GS. Um, I've ridden 1900 miles on it in the last week. Um, so I thought I'd just give you my, uh, my thoughts. So I think this is the 2020 model, but I'll confirm in the video. Um, it's been set up by uh, MotoQuest uh, tours for me up here in Anchorage in Alaska. Um, so I, it's part of the 1900 miles that I did. I took this um, off-road for, gosh, maybe eight, 900 of those up the Dalton Highway and across the Denali Highway. Um, it's been set up with these um, Shinko Adventure Trail uh, knobbly tires on. Uh, it's also got the um, engine guard and also got the bash plate on the bottom. It's got these additional uh, hand guards on and it comes with um, two side boxes. So all set up for, for doing that kind of, um, doing the kind of trailey stuff. And as you can see, it got very, very mucky. Um, Overall views of the bike. Oh. I really like it as a bike. I mean, it took me um, most of the way up the Dalton Highway. Um, I wouldn't want to have done that ride on anything bigger than this. Um, it's got a lot of power in the, the twin engine. No problem overtaking caravans, RVs, what have you on the roads. Um, handles fairly well. I mean, considering it's got those tires on, uh, the handling's been, been okay. I mean, you can't corner too fast or anything like that. And it's a bit bouncy. Um, so, you know, overall, uh, you know, it's a good bike. The seat isn't that comfy. I mean, I know I've done an awful lot of miles on it, but I've done an awful lot of miles on other bikes as well. And I'm really feeling how kind of uncomfortable the um, the seat is. The ride position is lovely and natural, as you'd expect from like an adventure style, uh, adventure style bike. Um, the uh, the brakes feel fine. It just it generally feels fine, which I think is good. And it's and it's taken me all these miles in a week, which is fantastic. But I think the the thing that I'm struggling with is so I've got a V-Strom 650 back at home. I've ridden the 1000 V-Strom. I've ridden the 1050 V-Strom. I've ridden the 800 Tiger, and now I've ridden this. And I'm not seeing like a massive difference between. I think that's the the thing that's like it's a really good bike. Really, really like it. Um, but I'm just not, I'm not convinced that would I be jumping to have this over any of those other bikes? I'm not really sure that I would, but it's good, it'll do. Um, well, it'll do, it's done even better than that. You know, it, it took me really, really far, but I think I was expecting for the BMW for it to be head and shoulders above the other bikes that I've ridden and it hasn't been. And that's just the way it goes, I guess. Um, but it's a really, really nice bike, and I'd thoroughly recommend anyone renting one um, or buying one because it's a great bike. But also, you know, I wouldn't say it's a standout, you know, I mean, kind of class leader. Certainly from what from what I've experienced, um, you know, I've not uh, I've not ridden the KTM, I've not ridden the um, Yamaha Tenere, so I can't comment on those. But um, I think it's it, it's completely alongside the 650 V-Strom and the, the Tiger 800, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, just a short, quick video. Let me know what you think. Um, I was thinking about, I was looking at potentially getting one, but since I've ridden it, you know, I'm going to stick with my V-Strom for now. But it's good.